The Dead and the Gone by Suzanne Beth Puffer. Table contents. Marianne, paper slider slash, slash A, B, C, D. Alex, narrator slash E, F, G, H, I. Owen, J, K, L, M. Tyrese, N, O, P, Q. Milani, videographer slash R, S, T, U, V. Edson, W, X, Y, Z. A is for Alex, the main character. He is the oldest brother of Bree and Julie and will do anything to protect them. B is for Bree, one of Alex's little sisters. She is never a selfish one, always thinking of others. C stands for Christianity because Christianity plays a big role in Alex, B, and Julie's life. Throughout this disastrous story, they are all keep going because they have hope. D stands for death because throughout the book, each way you turn, there is death. People are dying of cold, starvation, flu, and suicides. E stands for end because the world has pretty much come to an end. Dead everywhere, no food, and more disasters. It's everyone for themselves. F is for Father Franco, the priest of Al the priest at Alex's church. Father Franco helps Alex throughout the end of the book, throughout the book, and in the end saves up, saves him and Julie. G is for gone because Alex only has Bree and Julie left. No friends or family. They must fend for themselves. H for H stands for help because everyone in the world is in need of help. People are dying and the world has come to an end. I is for intelligent. That describes Alex. It has, he has to make important life-changing decisions to keep himself, Bree, and Julie alive. J is for Julie, Alex's littlest sister. She matures so much throughout the story. K is for killed because a ton of people are killed in this book. Some cities are wiped out and some just don't even exist anymore. L stands for lost. Alex's parents are lost. His dad is in Puerto Rico and his mom is not to be found. M stands for moon. The moon is causing all of the problems in the book. N stands for New York, where the story takes place. New York becomes very vacant with dead everywhere. O is for outrageous because that describes the book. The moon is closer to earth, dead everywhere, and then fighting for life. P stands for Puerto Rico, where Alex's family is from. It is also where his pappy is, if he is still alive. Q stands for quest, because Alex is on a quest in search of safety for Julie and Bree. R is for ravaged, because in the story, New York is very ravaged or destroyed. Most people died and by the 20-foot tidal waves in starvation has wiped out most of the survivors. S is for starvation, because starvation plays a big role in the story. Alex is constantly worrying about having enough food for him and his sisters. T is for tenacious. Tenacious is a word that describes Brie. Brie is very stubborn and refuses to accept the fact that her parents are dead. In the end, this is what leads to her death. U stands for unpleasant. In the book, New York becomes very unpleasant. Pleasant. Before the snow starts, dead bodies, dead bodies and rots are everywhere, and the sky becomes very gray due to volcanic ash. V stands for vacant because New York becomes very vacant. Many people leave for certain leave searching for a better place to live while most die in, of the flu virus. W stands for world, because the world is coming to an end. The moon was hit by an asteroid, and the world starts to become a very horrible place to live in. E is for extreme. Alex, Bree, and Julie live under extreme situations where food is very scarce. Most people are dying. There's dead bodies laying on the street of New York, and the on the street, and the population of New York keeps getting smaller. When Alex finds out that his mom might be dead, he goes to look for her in the row of dead bodies at the Yankee Stadium. Alex didn't, Alex didn't find them, her, their mom, but that doesn't mean she was still alive. Z is for Zap. The moon was zapped by an asteroid and caused a lot of problems on Earth. For a week, scientists knew that the moon was going to be hit by an asteroid. When the moon was hit, it was out of orbit, causing the end to life as we knew it. The end.